Welcome to this tutorial about making a paperclip in SOLIDWORKS 2012. First start off with a new part. For this part we choose the top plane to make our first sketch. We start by getting a line up horizontally, uh, vertically. We hit escape. To repeat our previous command we hit enter. So you can draw, you made we can draw another line. This will be horizontally with the point of the other line. You will see a mark and a dotted line. We hit again escape and enter and we see the white box with a horizontally black line in it and we hit the mouse button and we set another line. We do the same thing with escape, enter, we do the same thing and now we make the line as long till until it has a dotted line with the origin and the white box with the black horizontal stripe is visible. Click the mouse button, hit escape, we can zoom in now. For the next part we're gonna use a tangent arc hit the point and we click the other point from the most far offset line hit and we click it. We do the same thing for the other line and we do the same thing on the button. Sometimes it doesn't respond very well. Now we got a general shape of the paper clip. Now we're gonna size it. As I have a paper clip in front of me and I have a ruler in front of me, it's important to have always have a ruler which you when you're drawing cat in Saltworks or Inventor or any other um, cat program. And as I size it it's about 17 millimeters and the thickness is about 9 we see this the arcs on aren't lined up correctly now by how, how we can fix it is by clicking the center point of both arcs with control pressed and hit vertical, vertical. You can now see it's perfectly lined up. The size of that, the diameter of the arc is the same as the diameter as the lines are standing, are offset from each other, which in this case is six. Hit enter. The size of the longest line is. 22. By scrolling with your mouse wheel you can change the size by every time 10 millimeters. But the green the green arrow button is to accept it or just hit enter. And as I noticed in my paper clip which I have in front of me is the outer line which is now highlighted orange and the short um, line uh, the ends are horizontal from each other I mean at this point which is is here which I highlight and clicked and this point are horizontal you can give it a relation so every time I change this size if I have a size for this part which I need to give a size for which is it's about eighteen millimeters and I change this size to let's say twenty it moves 
it up. Control Z to get to previous setting. Now we have a general shape of the of the paper clip. Now we're gonna exit the ske sketch. You can press on exit sketch, or you can this um, click on this logo to make the a solid form of the paper clip. You're gonna use the swap boss base feature. But the first thing we need to uh, have it is the guideline. We have a center line guideline. And this is the form of the paper clip. But we need it's a round but it's made from a round bar. So we can make from another sketch which is a circle with the diameter of the diameter of the paper clip. By doing that, as we have left, our or the line started from our origin, means it's also co coincident with the front plane. We're gonna make front plane. And we're gonna make a sketch. Per space and normal too to get a good view of the the perfect view for sketching on this plane. As I didn't get the circle right in the origin, you can see it's a little bit of space left. I can click on the origin and uh, keep control pressed and click on the center of the circle and make it coincident. You can now see it's perfectly aligned. Now we're gonna size it by small dimensions. Give it the diameter of the sir of the star. I have one millimeter. Now we're gonna exit the sketch. As you can see we have now one circle and the form of the paper clip. Now you can see the sweat balls base is colored, we meaning we can use it. By clicking it, it auto and when you have already sketch clicked or, or it already appears in the bar in the blue bar uh, for the profile now we're gonna choose the path so we just gonna click on the line for the paper clip which is the form you can see now it, it has a preview you can choose it to show preview or not I always let it show the preview so and I, so if I get an error I know what's wrong by hitting the green arrow thing the button you can accept it or you can click enter now you have a paper clip by hitting space you can so you choose isometric you can get a good view of a three dimensional view from the paper clip for a realistic view you can choose perspective and you get a more real life um, review. For the next part we're gonna make a quick render of the paper clip. For giving it a material, first we're gonna give the material. Right click on material, edit material. Now you can see there are uh, different kinds of steel, iron, alum aluminium, copper, um, plastics, titanium, we're gonna give it a titanium alloy look. We're just gonna you um, for the by with the widow materials you can there are specs. So if you're making a part or let's say a cylinder head, you can choose the exact correct material. So you do so you can do calculations of what at what pressure it will shatter or when it when it will break eventually. Now we're gonna choose the titanium 6L. This one. Click apply, and you see in the background it changed color. Now we're gonna choose close. For for a nice quick render, we're gonna choose a simple black drop studio with fill lights. So you can see the the background changed. Now go to render tools options. You can see. I have it set to 1280 to 720p resolution. You can set the render quality to from a preview from good to better best maximum 
and the final render is in photo view 360 which is part of SOLIDWORKS you can set it always to maximum you can render bloom and you can render direct classics as it is just a preview to show somebody uh, what you've made you can leave it at the stock settings just hit the green button to exit and hit final render this might take a while to load it's as your PC is stronger it will be faster and if you and so strong PC is necessary to run SOLIDWORKS 2012 let's wait for the result you can see there are 8 blocks running through the screen uh, it, that is because I have my processor has 8 cores you get 8 blocks if you have a dual core processor you will get 2 blocks just shows how many cores are busy on what part of the render when you have an Intel i7 with hyper threading and you, it's a quad core you will see 8 cores because Windows thinks it is 8 cores here you see the final result of the paperclip in a render. You can now you can save this as a final color of alpha. I can save it as a final color and I hit save image. You can now choose it to do to save anywhere you want. You can name it, name it paper clip. and hit the save button no, you can choose but you can choose various uh, output f uh, formats you can choose JPEG, PNG, TIFF I choose JPEG as it is just a quick render for better renders I will use Cinema, Cinema 4D which I will make a tutorial also made a tutorial about hit save now you can close photo view and you need to close this part too want because if you move it it will gonna re-render your the image but and it will take a lot of processing power away from your computer uh, this was the tutorial about making a paper clip in SOLIDWORKS I hope you learned a lot of this tutorial and I hope to uh, see tips or tricks w from you in the YouTube um, uh, comments section. I hope to see you soon. But good luck in SOLIDWORKS.